Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I don't think my attempt to clone a dinosaur turned out right. <laughs> Couldn't get anyone to join you, huh? Yeah, I know how you feel. <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Underwear Innovations, Inc. In your pants since 1922. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> so let's get to it. Get ready, time for fashion. Run. Let's begin with... Buy Watch. Based on what he's most famous for, which of these explorers could be described as Bay Curious? Hernando de Soto, Vasco de Balboa, Sir Edmund Hillary, or Henry Hudson? Oh, the humanity! It was begging to be picked. Henry Hudson, for whom Hudson Bay is named, extensively explored the giant body of water. But who hasn't explored a major body of water a few times in college? Take a stab at where the booze cruise ends, and it's time to board the dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's an event on Kid Rock's Chillin' the Most Cruise, or a poem by renowned poet Shel Silverstein. If it's on the Kid Rock Cruise, press the left arrow. If it's a poem by Shel Silverstein, press the right arrow. We good? Here we go. Hug of War. Speedo Contest. Redneck Prop. The Smoke Off. Crowded Tub. Beers and Bingo. Trying on Clothes. That was Ba Wada Ba Da Bang A Dang Just Okay. I was thinking about going on the Kid Rock cruise, but I already used up my vacation days going ziplining with Uba Stank. Dance with me, Disco 3. Pucker up for constipated words. Suppose Reader's Digest editorial guidelines were similar to a Reader's Digestive system. Which of these phrases in the magazine would have the correct colon placement? Small intestine cecum rectum colon anus? Small intestine cecum colon rectum anus? Small intestine colon cecum... Stop it, you're gonna give me indigestion. The correct answer is... Digested food moves through the small intestine, then the large intestine, which is comprised of the cecum, then the colon, then the rectum, and then the anus. So there would be a colon in between the cecum and the rectum. Unless you had a very small meal, then you would only need a semicolon. Heyo! Here's what I like to call, what happens in Vegas is historically inaccurate. So there's a hotel and casino in Las Vegas called Excalibur. It got me thinking, why did they name it after King Arthur's sword when they could have named it after King Arthur's castle, Camelot? Would that have made just too much sense? If Las Vegas' Excalibur were more accurate to the story of King Arthur's Excalibur, a hotel would be shaped like a sword, not a castle, and probably built where? In the waters of the Bellagio Fountain? On top of the Luxor. Excalibur was kept underwater by the Lady of the Lake until she gave it to King Arthur. So under the Bellagio Fountain would be the most logical place for the Vegas Excalibur. <laughs> And to keep things accurate to the legend of King Arthur, everyone at this Excalibur would be treated like a king. There would be fine drinks and foods, and then you'd be murdered by your illegitimate son, mothered by your half-sister. Welcome to Vegas! My finger! How about... Petty, please? Because it never made the Billboard Hot 100 list, which Tom Petty song is the pettiest? Free Fallen, American Girl, Running Down a Dream, or Mary Jane's Last Dance? Hey, way to be wrong! It's so obvious. 
Mary Jane's Last Dance, Running Down a Dream, and Free Fallen all made it into the Billboard's Top 40. But Petty's classic American Girl never even made it to the Hot 100. Speaking of Top 100, Tom Petty is in my Hot 100 list of prettiest blondes, right below Gwyneth Paltrow and right above Miss Piggy. Let's say so long to round one, and hopefully you'll do even better in the next round. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And hint, hint, our wrong answer to the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Let's see what's in store. Next, the California Pizza Kitchen. Ah, oh, this pizza smells great. And let me tell you, I'm pretty picky about my pizza. I'll only eat it if it's authentically Italian. That's why I always order toppings that represent the colors of the Italian flag. So, can you guess what toppings I ordered on my authentic Italian flag pizza? Green peppers, marshmallows, and cherries, corn niblets, black licorice, and orange juice. The Italian flag is green, white, and red, so I ordered my pizza with green peppers, marshmallows, and cherries to give it that authentic Italian look and taste. Oh, yeah, that's, that's authentic. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, this is, this is good and authentic. Oh, no. Question seven. May I introduce the Westminster Snob Show? Suppose the American Kennel Club decides to hire a bouncer to keep out all the non-AKC recognized dog breeds. What instructions might the manager give the bouncer on his first day? No matter what you do, don't let any... Here's what a right answer looks like. Boxers, St. Bernards, and Boston Terriers are all officially recognized breeds of the American Kennel Club. But American Bulldogs are not, so the bouncer would have to turn them away. But only after they made a big show out of staring at their ID for 20 minutes. You shouldn't have let this one in. But that's okay, because soon you'll be letting the breeze in with this pair of air-conditioned underwear from Underwear Innovations, Inc. Remember, swamps are for alligators, not for asses. Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. Coming up next, MVP your pants. Which of these MVPs would have had to travel the farthest if he flew from his team's home city to Disney World? The Packers Aaron Rodgers, the Giants Eli Manning, the Cowboys Troy Aikman, or the Ravens Ray Lewis? Green Bay, Wisconsin is approximately 1,170 miles by air from Orlando, Florida, making it the farthest distance traveled for any of these players. Or to put it in football terms, Rodgers would have to gain 2,059,200 yards through the air. Next up, a miracle grow up so fast. Which of these dolls would be most closely related to a Cabbage Patch Kid? A Cornfield Kid? A Broccoli Garden Kid? A Beet Farm Kid? Broccoli is in the same family as Cabbage, along with Cauliflower and Brussels Sprouts. But whenever the Cabbage Patch Kids throw a family reunion, the Brussels Sprout Kids invitations always conveniently get lost in the mail. I call this one Beasts of the Southern Worldwide. It's the put the choices into order and buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And if you get this right, there will be an extra thousand dollars coming your way. Put these mythological creatures in order of their rumored homes from north to south. Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, the Chupacabra. Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, Chupacabra, Chupa... Loch Ness is in Scotland. Bigfoot famously hails from the northwestern United States, which is further south than Scotland. And the Chupacabra hails from sunny Puerto Rico. That earned you an extra grand. But if all this monster talk has you scared, don't worry. These creatures don't exist. My evil leprechaun friend told me. Isn't that right, Terrence? Ah, uh, he's cute. Stop. 
step right up. Ah, you already know the rules. Off you go. Greed expectations. Who's the greedy character? Good luck. There you have it! To all you greedy people out there, I would just like to say that money can't make you happy. Revenge makes you happy. Sure, money helps. But if you have to spend more than $7 on a revenge plot, you're overthinking it.